Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and I'm doing another first impression video. I can't believe how fast these things are coming out. Seems like I'm doing one every week. Um, and I just did a couple last night. So, um, anyway, here we go. So this is my first impression of the Fairy XL expandable carry-all tote bag. That is a mouthful. Okay, so uh, luckily I'm actually catching this while the sale is on. So 40% off of 157 Canadian is still $100. That's expensive. This thing better be huge. Okay, so let's take a look, shall we? So um, let's look at the colors, I guess, first. Um, so some new colors here, the Hummingbird Floral, which I'm assuming has the same interior. I'm just going to go through the colors and I'm going to look at the actual bag later. So, um, black rainbow actually looks very good there. Um, butterfly gray, crimson large dot, black. Okay, so it's got the black handle. That actually makes it look much better. Um, Kelly green, that's cute. That's actually quite a lovely color. Um, on such a big bag, I kind of like it. Um, metallic black. I really, really, really need to see these metallics. Um, I can never tell if it's going to be nice or not. <laughs> Um, okay, so metallic pearl, and then Paws Navy, and Resort Tropics. Oh, we haven't seen this in a little while. Um, and then Whimsy Black. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside. So let's see here, which one do we want to see? Um, <laughs> anything new colors here? Okay, I'm just going to look at this one because, uh, actually, you know what? I want to see what the interior of this is. <laughs> i got to assume it's the same, right? Okay, so, oh, it's a cute little zipper on the side there. Long straps, which I really like, and there's a little rubberized bit there, and a little top handle. So this is similar to the, um, oh gosh, what was the bag that we, that was the other day? The, um, oh my gosh, the Aviator, where there's like the short top handle made of that seatbelt material, and then there's the nicer tote handle here. Um, I don't know why. I still think they should make these the same. Okay. Um, oh, I guess that's the expandable part. There's a little flap at the top that you can actually extend and make longer. And yes, they have made the exact same print on the inside. All right. Um, so it's not, it's just a tote, really. I mean, it's got a little bit of organization from what I can see. Oh, okay. So there's a little little key bungee in there. That's cute. That's actually I I do actually really appreciate when they put key bungees in a whole separate pocket. Um, I I love having my keys in a bungee. I really do. Um, but I don't like that they're in, they're forced to be in a specific place because then they end up stabbing everything. Um, and if something is sitting on top of it, then it's really hard to fish out your keys. So I really really like when there are separate compartments with a bungee for your keys. So that's a really really good feature. And that's it. That's all the photos. Okay, so let's just see what it says. Um, actually, how big is that? I wonder if we can put other stuff in there. Um, sorry. Okay, so this is uh, one boat of an overnight tote. Oh, really? It's an overnight tote. Uh, super roomy XL bag. Fairy gives you double handles, basket weave stitching, clear wipeable bottom, which I like. Uh, plenty of pockets on the outside and the inside. When you're packing for a night or two but still want uh, classic tote style, Fairy gives you the function and feel you're after. Okay, well, I definitely like that so far. Um, whoa, 23 and a half inches. That is some of the that's one of the biggest bags I've come up with so far. Okay, so I didn't realize it was quite that big. Um, this thing is massive, it's kind of like the old. Oh gosh, what was it? Um, what was that bag that had that super sparkly um, plastic bottom? They used to have these huge, huge, huge bags um, with the basket weave as well. And I can't remember the name of them right now. And I'm wondering if it's like that um, as far as size. Because this thing is giant. For 23, that's a really, really big bag. Um, okay, and then 14 inches high, which is pretty good. Um, and 9 inches deep. That's amazing. So a nine inch deep bag, that's a really, really big bottom. Um, so this really is an overnight bag. I had no idea how big that was when I was looking at it. It looked like a regular tote. It looked kind of like a Skyliner, but bigger. Um, so, and then with three inches expandable vertical bed. Oh, I see that little flap at the top. Okay, so you can actually get extra height on it. So you can probably get an extra three inches on that 14 inches. So that's really good. Uh, 4.5 pounds. So it's not a... 
it's not a heavy bag, but it's not a light bag. Okay, so features. Uh, front soft light pocket, which I didn't see. I guess it was there somewhere. Uh, two side zipper pockets. Oh, I didn't see that. Um, main zipper compartment, wipeable bottom, three inch expandable vertical band. And then the interior is um, two soft line cargo pockets. That's nice. Two padded cargo pockets, better. Two pen holders, always awesome. One zipper pocket, one clear view pocket, retractable keychain inside pocket. Okay, I'm actually really liking this bag so far from what I hear. Okay, let's look at the video. I'm excited. Okay, volume down. Oh, I really like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, Amy's modeling again. Okay, it doesn't look big. Like when you're holding it like that, it doesn't look huge. But I do love the toad handles. And I do love that it's really big. <laughs> It looks really good in that color. I actually really like that that quilt and that color. And I'm not generally, a, oh, I'm not really a massive fan of that interior though. <laughs> I'm generally not a Kelly Green fan, but I do really like that. I wonder what size X, uh, uh, trolley that was. Oh wow, it's huge. That's a really good deep privacy pocket. That's a massive clear view pocket. And those pockets are pretty big as well. What was that that she had there? What was that wallet? Is that a new wallet? So that's a side pocket. And that's another. Oh, okay. So one of them is just a pocket. The other one has the key bungee. That's cute. Was that little side one a, like an insulated pocket though? Okay. Can I expand this? Let's see if I can make this bigger. I hope you can still see it. Well, they've matched the colors really well between the smaller strap and the larger strap and the bag. I do love a non-slip handle. I tried to use one the other day that didn't have one and it was driving me up the wall. Okay, I don't hate the interior because I like the lightness of it, but it's really not my favorite print. I'm not really a massive fan of the bouquets. Um, okay, so that was a really big packing cube. That was the large packing cube. I just want to see what size trolley that was. I'm wondering if that's an XL. Do we know if that's an XL? Can we tell? Okay, I'm waiting for that wallet. I do love that that privacy zip pocket is huge. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, is that the Zeppelin? Is that the Zeppelin wallet? Um, I actually don't know the Zeppelin really well. So, and I don't know what the, what the little wristlet strap looks like. Is that what the wristlet strap looks like on the Zeppelin? Someone let me know. Um, okay, and the two little pen slots are here inside one of these pockets. I have a feeling that's the Zeppelin. So that's a big wallet that she's got in there. So that means you can fit pretty much the largest wallet you can in that little, in that pocket there. So that's good to know. So that's just a pocket. Okay. I do like the side pockets though. I do really like the side pocket and I really, really like the wipeable bottom. Okay. I'm not going to lie. There's a part of me that I think would probably get it if it was here in that Heather Indigo. <laughs> Cause I'm realizing now if this was Heather Indigo, I probably would fall in love and get it. Um, cause it seems like anything in that color in that quilting, I, I can't, I can't help but love. So I, I, I like this color. I just don't think I need it. I don't really have a whole lot that matches it. I don't think. <laughs> that little flap is cute so that you can get that extra little bit and it doesn't look like it's ruined the line of the bag. And I really appreciate that. It's the same fabric. It's the same color. It doesn't sort of destroy the line of it, which I really like. And I also like there's no gaping holes on the side when, because whenever they have those kinds of zippers like that and that little flap, there's like a little gaping hole on either side of the zippers. So that's actually a really good thing as well, but they don't have that. Um, oh my gosh, which one do I get if I have to get one? You know what? I don't think I'm going to get one. <laughs> I, I, as much as I like it and it's a really good price, 40% off is a really, really good price. 
I don't think I need one. I don't know if I need one right now. Um, I do have an aviator. Um, it's big. It's probably not as big as this, but it's big. Um, and I don't use it much at the moment and I'm not going anywhere. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it though. Because, I mean, I just don't know how, how big this really is once it's on me. Like I, I would like to feel what that feels like. Um, like I love my Ace 2s. I adore them. Um, and that's the bag I use whenever I go shopping and run errands and things like that. But it gets really small really fast. It's a really narrow, very sort of thin bag, which is kind of the reason why I got it. I didn't want something that was really large. that was going to take up a lot of space, especially if I was like on public transit, that I wasn't banging into people and knocking things over in the stores. Um, but I, but it, once I have it filled with just a few things, it's already full. Um, like there's the front pocket that I've got with a bunch of stuff in it, like my sort of, you know, things that I need all the time. And then I've got, I think like a few shopping bags in there, um, a water bottle and that's it. And then all of a sudden it's way more than halfway full. So if I need to put other things in it, it gets full really fast. Um, so I kind of wouldn't mind a bag that has this level of organization um, but maybe has the ability to expand and has a lot more space so that if I go shopping, I can still carry all my essentials. I can carry all these little things that I need, but look at how much space. I mean, like, I'm loving that this is like, there's stuff in all those little pockets. Like there's stuff here. There's stuff in those little, uh, cargo pockets here. And, and there's still like lots of room at the bottom to put like stuff in. So even if I had my shopping bags and my sweater and all that stuff, my umbrella down there, I would still be able to fit shopping in there. The only thing I'm worried about is how big this would be. Is this going to be too big? Is this going to be so big that, like I said, I was, you know, I'm knocking things over. I'm, I'm whacking people in the head. Um, that's what worries me a little bit. Like it might be too big. So, hmm, I do, I do like that I like that Kelly green. It's kind of growing on me. I really kind of like it. Okay. Um, okay. So if I were to get one, what color? <laughs> That's always fun, but I think it's a little bit too much for me at this. I think it's too much for such a big bag. This one still calls to me a little bit. I'm still not sure. Kind of like it. I think that'd be really cute, but I just feel like maybe that's going to get dirty. <laughs> oh, it's such a cute interior. Look at that. Oh, no, no. I kind of like this one. It's a little springy though, right? Like I couldn't really carry that in the winter. See, I don't know. This could be really cool. Again, I think it's a bit of a dark interior. No, it's not a little bit dark in there. Um, it's, it looks cool, but it, I'm afraid it's going to look really weird. Oh, hello. Um, I, I just worry that this is going to look like a garbage bag. That's it. I just have this weird, sad feeling that I'm going to get it. I'm going to be really sad because it looks like a garbage bag. Um, that it might be either too shiny or too rustly or something. So, but I do like it. Uh, okay. Um, do I like it? No, you know what? I love this. I like the matte of this. So see, this one is really, really shiny. Um, that's why it worries me because I know that the lug fabric is a little bit shiny as it is. So when I see this and it's, and it's a little bit shiny, I'm so worried that this is going to be super, super shiny. So that's what worries me about that because this is technically like a brushed feel, I think, you know, compared to the metallic. Um, but I just, I'm not, I'm sorry. As much as I like this, that interior really bugs me. And I am one of these people who gets bugged by interiors. So like even that Kelly green, I love the Kelly green, but I'm not sure if I love the interior. So it's kind of, I'm sort of on the fence on that one. Um, I love the Paws Navy because I love it. But it's way, there's actually way too much pink on the outside for me, me personally. Uh, if all the pink paws, like all the magenta paws were a different color, like a more muted color, I probably would have got a million of these by now. But I gotta tell you, there's a part of me that wants to get it just because of that interior. Like I love that interior. So... I've been very close to getting this particular thing many, many, many times. Um, but, uh, yeah. What's the interior of this one? I keep forgetting what this one is. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Okay. 
And the Resort Tropics. See, that works. That one makes sense. I like that one. Those two match. Um, okay, so, so far this is my favorite one because I like the colors. Um, grade 6 me would have been all over this because I was hardcore into pastels back then. Uh, so I think there's a part of me that still calls out to pastels. Um, yeah, like when I was 11 or 12, pastels were the thing for me. Um, everyone else was into neon and I was like, pastels, please. <laughs> so um, apparently that's still the case now. <laughs> um, everyone's buying up neon colors like it's going out of style. And I'm looking at this one with the pastels. So um, if I were to get one, I think it would be this one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait on this one. So I'm going to have to decide. And also, I have spent so much money. Um, I bought so much stuff at the warehouse sales. Um, and I got to be honest with you, I, I caved and bought a box today. Um, I thought about it and thought about it. At first, I wasn't going to get one because I knew, like I said, I bought so much already at the, at the warehouse sales. I dropped so much money and I kind of had um, pretty much everything I think that I need. Like I have a good wheelie. I've got a matching box or two backpack. So that's my sort of, you know, carry on personal item. So if I'm traveling anywhere, that's not too, too, too far. I've got a really good set. Um, I've got, I got two more like ACE twos, which are amazing. So, you know, I, I don't have to worry about that bag anymore. Um, what else did I get? I got lots of little accessories. Um, geez. So like, I kind of feel like there are a lot of things that are sort of been like a lot of bags that have been checked off my list, like sort of, <laughs> I guess, a lot of my needs have been met now, if that makes any sense. Like I have sort of, I'm starting to find more and more bags that suit all my needs. Um, now I'll be honest with you. I don't have a really great tote with organization. Um, that is really flexible. Um, cause I do have my Avion and I do love it. Um, at the moment it's kind of occupied. So it's, it's sort of, it's serving a purpose right now. Um, so if I were to suddenly need another one, I don't really have another one. So that's kind of why maybe I would get this one. But the, again, I still feel like if this came out in Heather Indigo, I don't think we'd be having this conversation. I think I would just go and buy. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, I, I, I love, I love all of these. Like I do love that one. I really, really do. This one is definitely, it looks good. I really like it in this bag, but man, oh man, that interior, um, this is probably way too much crimson large dot for me, even though I actually quite like it. Um, this is actually really pretty, but I don't really have much that goes with it because you'd have to really, really make sure that your outfit matches that, I think. And that's pretty green. This one, I just have no clue how shiny it's going to be. Same with this one. Uh, way too much pink on this one for me, uh, especially when it's that big, you can really see all the pink. Um, and yeah, I'm not really a massive tropics fan, like a resort fan. Uh, this one is probably a little too much for me as well. Uh, but I like it. Like I do like it. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to have to sit on this one. Like I said, I have a feeling I probably won't, uh, but it's a hard thing to, you know, turn down a good deal like that. So I guess it's not really a great deal, is it? I mean, it's a good deal because it's on sale for 40 off. But $100 is still pretty high for a bag. Um, although it is a big bag, isn't it? Ah, drawn. Okay, so I'm going to have to think about it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do you like it? Do you want one? <laughs> are you getting one? If so, what color? And if so, how are you using this? Like, is this going to be your overnight bag? Is this uh, a travel bag? Are you? Is this your carry around running errands bag? Oh, I really like it. Oh, boo. <laughs> I'm actually looking at it and really quite liking it. <sighs> okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I want to know what you're thinking. So um, that is it for now. So like I said, I did buy a box. Uh, now I used a lot of points. Um, I sort of justified it by saying I have a lot of points. I don't know when they're going to expire. I don't know. You know, I don't know, but I thought, okay, you know what? I'll cash in all my points that I can and, um, I'll see how it goes. And I'll, I I don't I'm not gonna tell you whether I got the print or the color. I was really debating on that one. I has I was yeah, there, there was a quiet voice that was telling me what I should 
forget. And then the, the loud voice was telling me something else. And then I, I, I literally played spin the bottle. Like I wrote the word color print, color print all over a piece of paper. And I spun my little eyedrop bottle <laughs> on it. And it kept landing on the the same one over and over and I was like oh so then I turned my page around and it started landing on the other ones so then I actually like pulled a number out of a hat kind of thing uh I pulled a like I, I wrote color and and print on two pieces of paper and threw it in a hat and uh I, I just had to do best two out of three and I just figured okay the, the universe is speaking to me I should listen to it so I had to listen to the universe and the inner voice, even though there's a part of me that wanted to choose the other one. So um, so I won't tell you what I got, because when I get my box, you will see in the reveal. Um, and uh, we'll all be surprised together. <laughs> and possibly I'll be thoroughly disappointed. So anyways, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.